County Elementary School says they have no water safe enough to drink and now they're using an emergency resolution to start out fresh. So let's go to your reporter covering Stanislaw County, Nina Burns. She's joining us live from Grayson Elementary. This is in the town of Wesley. Nina, what can you tell us? That's right, guys. At the start of November, Grayson Elementary had a major water break where they had to dig into the concrete, and the superintendent says that's when they saw the state of their pipes. Now, today, we did speak to the district and parents about the current conditions. The All of the pipes are like paper thin, and I'm not exaggerating. You can put your hand through it, and it breaks right through it. And then when you go inside the pipe, it's corroded inside. Superintendent Reyes Gauna says the school's access to water has been an ongoing issue for the last 10 years. Unfortunately, because the housing authority's water uh, is all ran through the same system, if they have a break somewhere, they shut the water down. Superintendent Gauna says that causes the school to lose access to water at least once a month. Still, the current state of their water is not consumable, meaning there's no water for anything other than plumbing. But the Wesley Housing Authority is creating a new well with a water filtration system. Well, that's great. Hopefully now the water is going to be drinkable and usable for the kitchen. But looking at our pipes, at how old they are, well, we have to do something about that from the point of entry. What we discovered is every time we would fix a pipe, another pipe would break. Why? Because they were so old. Now the district needs to replace all pipes at Grayson Elementary. Pipes that haven't been changed out since the school was built 75 years ago. It's going to be easily in the millions. I mean, it's, it's, not, a small, it's not a small job, so. I didn't know that pipes are bad. Yeah. Brother of Grayson Elementary student Logan says he wasn't aware of the extent of the issue, but hopes the project can bring back clean drinking water. I think it should be worth it. Um, I don't think cost with the kids and stuff like that, cost might matter. They have to have fresh water, good water. Grandmother Nito Hernandez also went to Grayson, but says the school has had water issues even when she attended over 40 years ago. Need it. You know, been here so many years, I'm almost 60. We do that. <laughs> so we need it. Tomorrow, the district will meet with the parents to discuss their next steps. Now they are hoping to start and finish the project this month during a three three week break for a winter break with their students so they can finally get some water back. Because right now, as you heard, they don't have any drinking water. They just give them bottles of water. Back wow. to you guys. Yeah, and that's a lot of work that they have cut out for themselves yeah, no for kidding. sure. All right, Nina, thank you.